Hi everybody, Liz from Liz and Annie here. I'm making another video today, uh, hopefully a quick one, to show you how to do something that is uh, relatively new given a bunch of Zoom software updates that we've all been hopefully installing uh, in the last couple of weeks that have changed some of their settings and security features. So one of the first things I wanna point out is that I'm in my Zoom room, I have the meeting locked, but now it no longer up here at the top displays the meeting ID. So it used to have that on there, I think they took that out because for those of us making and posting videos, people could get the meeting ID from looking at those videos if they could find the public link to them or they had them shared. And so then they could always type in the meeting ID number and join a meeting that wasn't locked or password protected. So uh, that's definitely something that I've noticed is new. And then the thing I wanna show you today is uh, something that's gonna help for those of us who have decided for our uh, lecture material, whether synchronous or asynchronous, that we are gonna uh, use Zoom's cloud recording option to capture our lecture videos and then make that available for our students uh, during or after the classes. So I've been doing that for my synchronous uh, lectures that I'm doing for one of my undergraduate courses this quarter, and it's been great. And I've been posting the web links to the Zoom cloud website through iLearn, through my Blackboard site for my class, and the students can click on it and then watch the video with the closed captioning embedded um, already, which is really nice. So that's all there for them, ready to go. But what a couple of people have noticed, I've noticed this week, my students flagged for me this week, is that now those Zoom cloud links are requiring a password. So that's not a problem if you want to password protect your lectures and make sure that your students have to have the uh, recording password to be able to watch it if you're setting up your Blackboard site the same way I am. But I'm just going to show you how to uh, how to disable that if you don't need that or don't think you want it to be the default. So I don't. I want my students to be able to like access by clicking on the link that I've already embedded within my iLearn site instead of doing that and then having to enter another password. But again, your mileage may vary and people are going to differ in what they want to do with this. Okay, so as usual, here I am in my uh, web page version of my Zoom account need the options. Okay, I want to go to recordings. And uh, I'm starting to have a lot of data in this cloud recording section because this is how I'm teaching my class that's been in progress for a couple of weeks. So I want to be able to oops, make this sort of smaller. Sorry about this. Okay, I want to come over here to the share button. So Click on this and it now gives me a bunch of options. So there's like this menu page that uh, wasn't as detailed before. So I, um, for the purposes of my class, I'm sharing my cloud recordings of my lecture videos publicly. I could change this to authenticated users, but that means they have to authenticate through Zoom with their UCR account so that they can do it. So up to you. I want them to be, my students be able to download so they can watch offline. Um, password protect, this is, I turn this off. So this is the setting that would apply a password to the meeting recording. So not to your Zoom room, not to a meeting that you might be hosting, but to the actual generated cloud recording of your lecture, of your class, of whatever it is that you had Zoom record um, while you had people in there or while you were there by yourself, and then posted it to Zoom's cloud, okay? So if you don't want it to automatically password protect your cloud recordings or the links to your cloud recordings, you can just turn this off and that's all you have to do. Okay, uh, I know there's a bunch of other stuff that people have pointed out and that Annie and I have noticed has been updated in Zoom as they've been doing their software updates for everybody to try to address security concerns. So we'll probably be back later today with more videos about little tweaks and uh, ways you might wanna check to make sure now that we're actually going with the quarter that your class is set up the way that you want um, given the changes that Zoom has been implementing. So I'll be back soon with more stuff. Good luck with this.